Dear listener, welcome to my channel. Main topic of the video is query and query operation in information retrieval. Sub topic is user relevance feedback. In previous video, I have already explained the theory of user relevance feedback. And in this video, we are going to cover the exercises on user relevance feedback. For the exercises, topic is query expansion and term reweighting for the vector model. Now let us start. Relevance feedback with user relevance information, one of the most commonly used strategy for query reformulation method. Document assessment, the user receives a list of documents retrieved for the initial query. Relevance marking, the user identifies and marks the documents that are relevant. Typically, user examines the top 10 to 20 rank documents. Incremental improvement. Important terms are selected from the documents marked as relevant by the users. Enhanced query. The importance of these selected terms is increased in new query. In new query, the goal of this strategy is to refine the query in a way that it moves closer to the retrieving relevant document and away from the non-relevant ones. So this is nothing but a theoretical part of user relevance information. I have explained all that things in my previous video. Two basic techniques, query expansion and term reweighting. Query expansion add the new terms for the relevant documents and term reweight modify the term weights based on the user relevance judgment. Advantage of the method is that users are not aware of the query reformulation process. Search broken down into sequence of small steps. It is a control process that is emphasis on important terms from the relevant documents and de-emphasis de on the other terms which is from the non-relevant document. Query expansion and term reweighting for vector model. Vector algebra is used to modify the query vector. The vector for the relevant document should be added to the query vector. From the query vector, subtract the vector corresponding to the irrelevant documents. This adds both positive and negatively weighted terms to the query as well as reweighting the initial terms. For this vector model, three methods are there, standard Rochow method, then IDA regular method and IDA Dekai method. So these are the three formulas for this method. Now we will directly start with the exercise. Suppose that after receiving the results of query dog race, the query is given as dog race, a user has provided a relevance feedback by rating the following three documents as non-relevant. Now total seven documents are there and out of seven documents the first document one document two and document three the user mark as a non-relevant that is it didn't click and the four documents as relevant relevant because it click on that particular document so document one two three are non-relevant and document four to document seven are relevant documents assuming the simple term frequency weight the standard ratio formula id regular and dekai apply to reformulate the given query q positive feedback factor is used as beta is 1.0 negative factor gamma is 0.5 when for original query factor is not mentioned at that time we make assumption that alpha equal to 1 show q1 as a vector over above index terms with the corresponding weight generated by mentioned three methods explain any significant increase or decrease in term weights Now we require to see uh, all documents relevant as well as irrelevant. Now we will find out first total number of keywords and for simplicity keywords are arranged in alphabetical order. So in 7 documents 11 keywords are present, total relevant documents are 4 and non-relevant documents are 3. Alpha is equal to 1, beta is equal to 1 and gamma is equal to 0.5. Original query is dog race. So 1 and 1 is there. Now we will find out that in relevant documents how many times Alaska comes. So for relevant if we see that Alaska comes for 2 times. So in this way we require to count that particular keyword for relevant as well as irrelevant documents. So this is nothing but this column that for all these keywords we count in relevant documents as well as we count in irrelevant documents. That is nothing but the count. 
नेक्स्ट वी रिक्वायर टू अप्लाई दिस थ्री फॉर्मूले दिस इज अ मॉडिफाइड क्वेरी एंड वी रिक्वायर टू यूज ट्यूनिंग पैरामीटर्स टू गेट द वी आर एडिंग रिलेवेंट एज वेल एज इरिलेवेंट वेट्स एंड टू द ओरिजिनल क्वेरी टू गेट द मॉडिफाइड क्वेरी नाउ वी विल सी फर्स्ट स्टैंडर्ड रोशियो फॉर्मूला now we will see the formula alpha is 1 so here it is not mentioned then we require to add the original query terms so all other query terms are absent only dog and race is present so 1 and 1 is there then plus then we are adding relevant and subtracting the irrelevant for beta factor is 1 and total number of documents for relevancy are 4 so 1 by 4 factor is there and we require to multiply it by the summation of the dj that is the number of Uh, summation of the keywords for that particular document now here uh, alaska word is comes for twice so it is multiplied by 2 betting comes one so we are multiplying the corresponding count of that keywords for relevant documents to this factor that is beta divided by dr now for irrelevant documents we subtract so gamma is 0.5 total number of irrelevant documents are 3 so this is 3 and we require to multiply by corresponding so for non relevant document alaska is not present so it is 0 so in this way we are getting this equation so this is nothing but the output of rosho method similarly we will apply the id regular method in id regular method normalization is not used so this divide parameter will not come otherwise the equations are same and this is the output of id regular method in dec high we require to take this gamma with respect to maximum non relevant now if we check here in non relevant maximum score is 2 so we are multiplying by 2 for every equation so by this way we get the id dec high equation so first two portions are same but for third we require to take the maximum non relevant value and we require to multiply by that value now here we are getting this output so we will see in the next slide original query is 1 1 and after that we are getting the weight like this now here we require to keep one threshold based on the requirement that how much we want to add the new terms to the query if we keep the threshold as 0.25 then this alaska will add to the new query then dog is already there and we can find out that dog weight initially it was 1 but it is now changed to 1.92 that is increased then after that husky is there so we are adding husky e id terror 0.50 malmat 0.25 race is increased and then sled is 1 so in this way our query terms get added into the existing query as well as their terms gets reweighted and if we keep the threshold as 0.5 so it may happen that when 0.5 comes so husky may not be present in the resultant query so it's all depend on you how we keep the threshold now for id regular we are getting the uh, value is very similar to the rosho method and we will keep the threshold and based on that we are getting the values now id dec high so it is giving punishment to the non relevant documents so we are getting weight like this and here we can see that the relevant dog and race is increased com in is increased large compared to other values so dog word becomes 5 and here it becomes 4 and all other values are between so based on the threshold if we keep the threshold one then we are getting alaska dog id terror and race and sled in the new query so in this way by taking the feedback from the user we can make the query reformulated so in query reformulated new terms gets added or may be subtracted and the term gets reweighted also so when the term gets reweighted the addition or subtraction becomes a part now see the second similar example the query is cheap car based car insurance four documents are there out of that two documents are relevant two documents are irrelevant so blue is relevant documents and red is irrelevant documents now we require to use the direct term frequency so we re don't require to modify the term frequency of the document and here alpha is 1.0 beta is 0.75 gamma is equal to 0.5 so this is for the relevant document and this is for the non relevant documents so we are making the preparing the same table 
total five keywords are there they are arranged in ascending order total two number of documents relevant total two number of documents irrelevant these are nothing but the tuning parameters for original query relevant and non relevant now in the original query that is the uh, original query cheap car based car insurance or so cheap car based car insurance we are making these terms after that from the relevant documents we are adding the part, we are counting the particular keywords and we are keeping the count here and this is nothing but the for non relevant document after that we are applying the equation so here when query terms is present multiplied one by one is not shown here but 0 into 1 1 into 1 2 into 1 1 into 1 1 into 1 then next is 0.75 and it is divided by number of relevant documents and this is for the non relevant documents and we subtract the non relevant documents from the original query and the relevant documents so by this way we are getting the value and here we can find out that based is initially 1 now it changed to 1.5 2 is changed to 1.8 that its importance is reduced next one importance is reduced and here is importance is increased if we keep the threshold which is greater than 0.625 it may happen that that chip word will not come into the modified query so similarly we can use id regular equation id regular we are not using the normalization by that particular count of relevant as well as non relevant documents so we are getting this value and in deck high we are giving that maximum non relevant count is 3 so we are multiplied by 3 and we are getting the answer like this so in this way we are solving the problem so this is the final answer and here we can keep the threshold and we, if we keep the threshold as 1.5 so original query contains the cheap car based car insurance but when new query becomes a based car insurance if we keep the threshold 1.75 again based car insurance for 10 again based car insurance so here we decide which words we want to uh, which words uh, that gets added to the query are totally based on our selected threshold now the exercise 3 query is 0 0.7 0 0.3 relevant d1 d2 now here two documents are there one is relevant another is irrelevant this is for the first keyword and this is the second keyword these parameters are given so we require to write down these two keywords are there k1 k2 original query their weights are 0 0.7 0 0.3 in relevant documents it is 0 0.2 0 0.2 and 0 0.8 for k1 and k2 and for irrelevant document for k1 is 0 0.9 and 0 0.1 here we can observe that for relevant documents k2 is more compared to the k1 and in the resultant also we are getting more weight for the uh, relevant documents uh, relevant keywords than the irrelevant keywords this keywords is uh, relevant irrelevant depends on we are making the decision based on the documents d1 d2 so we are applying the formula the formula is very simple because one in one relevant document and one irrelevant document so like previous two exercises we are calculating and we are finding so here we can easily observe that for the relevant documents for the second keyword the weight is higher so that's why you are getting that point 0.8 is changed to the point 0.88 now exercise 4 so sometimes they have given the value like this now here d1 and d2 they mentions the relevant and d3 is irrelevant so we here we are taking the average of d1 d2 to represent the value so point 0.8 plus 1.2 with respect to keyword k1 so average is taken 1.3 and 0.8 average is taken 0.5 and 0.1 average is taken and after that there is no need to take because only one irrelevant document is there and we are applying the formula same as our previous method and we are calculating the answer so in this way we are getting the query reformulation in terms of maybe new terms gets added and the existing query weights may be change last example so sometimes in exam d1 d2 d3 is given so they are relevant and these are the irrelevant documents so when we are representing relevant and irrelevant we require to take the average because the concept is totally based on centroid so these are nothing but the tuning parameters now here d1 d2 d3 re with respect to they are relevant and d4 d5 are irrelevant documents so here we are taking the 
first sum and then average and this average we are keeping for the relevance and this average we are keeping for the non relevant documents so this all five keywords original query they are given for relevant documents we are keeping the terms of or we are keeping the score of their average so in this way we are calculating the uh, query reformulation by using three methods rosho id regular and id deck high method so in this way we are taking the explicitly feedback from the user to reformulate the query so here totally result is based on how user click the document so if user clicks the wrong document so at that time query may gets diverted to the more irrelevant documents but if user clicks on relevant documents the query terms gets or new query terms and the existing query terms gets more closer and closer to the relevant documents so this is nothing but all about the user relevance feedback exercise session thank you